Hey, video six, installing Varken. Now, I'm gonna be clear here. Varken is not usable unless you have Grafana installed. Collect the Telegraph, things like that. Yeah, the Influx DB, I mean, you can use other stuff with that. So all of those things are still useful to you. Um, Varken is not. Varken requires Grafana um, in order to work correctly. So um, let's do this. I am going to root for this because to be honest with you, in my notes, I have it set for that and I do not recall which things were SU and which ones were not. So let's just uh, go with what I have written down here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get the Varken Git. Easy enough. Now we need to create a user for Varken. Uh, that's in their directions to do that. So we did that. Now we need to move into the Varken folder. And we want, this is one of our prerequisites, was the Python 3 virtual environment. So we're going to create the Python 3 virtual environment. And again, all this information is, in fact, up on their, on their website. Now we use pip to install all their requirements. You know, all the stuff we've done, it's all kind of um, rolled together, so to speak, um, in the sense that the, the databases we're creating and populating are we're going to be used to drive the various uh, graphs and whatnot that Gravana displays. Um, you can get a lot of the information that Varken uses from other plugins. I personally just find it much simpler to use the uh, Varken, data, uh, Varken display and just pull the monitors I want off there. And I'll show you that when we get into that point. So we just copied the Varken INI file. Now we need to review the Varken INI file and make whatever changes we're going to make. So I do not use sonar so I'm going to turn that off I do not use radar so I'm going to turn that off Tatuli server ID we only got one so we leave that as one uh, I don't use Ombi, so we can turn that off and I don't use that I don't I have unified servers but I don't use this for this okay so max mind license key um, in their directions they will tell you there's a a website you have to go and sign up for a free account on and MaxMind is that site and you'll go there and you'll get a licensing key I do have one of those but for the life of me I don't remember what it is so I will check my live configuration for that and I'll you know copy and paste that in here later on uh, I'll pause the video first so influx DB where is influx influx is local host right now for us so we can just do that it's on port 86. Uh, you can leave the usernames and passwords because we didn't do anything. All right, Tatuli. Need to tell it where to look. Um, this would be your local address yet again. And fallback IP. This needs to be your external IP. I forget the reason for it. Um, they did tell us in the directions for it. Um, but yes, you need the fallback IP to be your external IP address. If you don't do that, it will not start correctly. Uh, I'm going to grab my external IP address. Give me one sec while I pause the video and get that. Okay, so I've got that in another uh, screen here. I'll fill that in after the fact. So the next thing we need is our Tatuli API key. So you go back to your Tatuli instance and under your configs, there is third-party APIs, and there's not the right page, so I'm looking at the wrong thing there. Sorry about that. Uh, where was it? Uh, da, 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 um, I gotta find it now. There's an API web interface. Was that it? There it is. All right, API key from the web interface. Go to web interface to get that, and then you come over here, and we're gonna post that over here. All right, so if you use sonar and radar and all those things, um, you would configure them here, uh, presumably using the same information. I don't use any of those, so that's irrelevant to me. Um, so I'm going to pause that video again. I'm gonna paste in my actual IP address, and then I'm going to exit out of this, and we should be good, so bear with me. Okay, so the next step is we correct our ownership 
of the ops folder and then we want to create our folder for our uh, system service and we're going to do a daemon reload on this one and then we will enable that service again so this is so it'll start when we're uh, you know rebooting wow I really have trouble typing today and it was farkin if I correct Workerly, working that service. Nope. Oh, yeah. You know what, Justin? It would help if you spelled things correctly, huh? There we go. All right. So that worked, and I should be able to start that now. Again, I cannot spell. I don't know why I'm hitting either when I should be hitting A. All right. All right, so it failed. Now, I do recall having an issue like this before. So let's take a look at the journal and see why it failed exactly. Uh, let's see, error, could not find, max mine, duh. I forgot the max mine key, see? See what I mean? All right, so bear with me, pause in the video and gonna put that in real quick. Okay, key is posted and just to give you a quick show, Yes, Varkin is now running. So let's backtrack through everything before we install Grafana and make sure we're good. So the first thing we needed was, did we have InfluxDB running? Actually, let's go a little further back. Is Flex Media Server running? I mean, I'm sure it is, but let's just look. Of course, that uh, that doesn't work. Gotta put a status in there. Hey, look at that, okay. So Plex is running. Influx is running. Collect D is running. Telegraph is running. Varkin is running. So everything is running. We're done with this video. And next step is on to step seven, which is finally installing Grafana and configuring our dash, which is the whole point of what we've been going through.